promises and your words of the Lord start with our faith in Him. His promises start with our faith. Hear His word and apply that to our walk. A lot of His word is devoted to giving. I really love it. To Jesus giving to care for the poor was always a priority. And you should make it one of your priorities, even if you lack a lot to give. See, that is. Begin with what you can, be consistent, give joyfully, make giving a priority, and then watch his promises come to you. That's his promise. Listen to his word, it says, Harvest is a promise. Genesis 8, 22. As long as the earth endures, seed time and harvest will never cease. Harvest will never cease. How about that? Great, guys. So let's pray. Father, thank you for this, uh, gosh, this wonderful uh, group that's come to minister to us. Um, thank you for those that are so faithful in this ministry to give to the lots of good things that we do. I pray for this offering tonight that you multiply it and grow it, grow it, grow it so we reach more and depth more and love more for you, Papa God. Praise the God. We love you. Amen. Amen. feel so right and it was so right to be here with us doing that for the first time in what a year and a half and so uh y'all need to listen i i come to a conclusion pretty recently i guess <laughs> you know that word retirement that's something i'll probably never be intimate with i just i don't see it happening <laughs> you know what I, we just got to keep going but it's better to burn out than fade away huh uh, but anyway when you got Jesus, though, he enables you to do what you're supposed to do. And uh, you guys are called. I mean, yeah, there's great purpose. And, 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 and you all being together in what you do. And you just blessed us tonight. Thank you so much for coming and, and doing that and continuing. We got a long history. I mean, we've done a lot of services together. We've, we've had a hoot. That, that the, the, the lamb, the lion, and the king. Oh, you know I love that, Jack. I, I just love that song. Yeah, he did it once and for all. It's finished. It's final. It don't never have to be another rugged cross. Don't have to be another Calvary. None of that stuff ever again because what he did for us, it was once, final, kaput. Now, the old priests and everything, they go in every year redoing the same thing over and over again. When Jesus, he did it, and then he entered into the heavenly tabernacle in the heavenlies and forever is there as our high priest. And you know what? It's settled. It's done. Wee-wee. We got a lot to do, and I got, oh, I can't even start a sermon. That's okay. Listen, I got to confirm a couple things. And what Everything these fellows are saying tonight, Patrick gets up and he says his promises start with our faith. Amen. We've been on this tangent, you know, just like, Turning over religious apple carts and, and, you know, making people just stand on their heads and everything. But ever so often, the church, including our little community here, has to have a reformation when we fall into the rules and the regulations and think that we're earning something by being goody two shoes. Little Christians and Christianettes doing everything that, and then pretty soon we think we're just earning our way. We can never do that. Apart from Jesus, it's never, ever going to work, and we need him. And every time the church would start pulling away from that, something would happen to bring it back in line. As a matter of fact, it wasn't too long after Jesus had rose from the dead and then ascended into the heavens that the Apostle Paul is telling these folks. He's like telling the Galatians, who has bewitched you? What's wrong with you? He's tight called, are you that foolish? You start out in the spirit, and now you're already back in the flesh. 
And what he's talking about is them picking up their old Jewish traditions and their old laws, think they're going to religiosify somebody to help them out, and it's opposite of helping anybody. Because law is not faith. The promise, listen to this, is the faith. You want me to read it to you? It will help. I've only got three minutes. Maybe I should shut up and just read. He says to the Galatians, Therefore he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you, does he do it by works of the law or by the hearing of faith? Just as Abraham believed God. Just as Abraham believed God and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Oh my. Verse 7 says, Therefore, know that only those who are of faith are the sons of Abraham. This is a wake up, kids. I mean, many times we read through this and we really don't stop to think what Paul is saying to the church and, and, and the Galatians here, but he's telling them, apart from faith in God, you're lost. Because he goes on and he says, and the scripture foreseeing that God would justify the Gentiles, that's everybody other than the Jews, all right? He would justify them by faith. He preached the gospel to Abraham beforehand, saying, in you all nations shall be blessed. God wasn't out to save a few. He was out to save the world. And he was out to use them to bring them all in, all nations. And Abraham, the father of faith, it just wasn't his natural offspring. It was the promise that was coming forth. That's why in Psalms, God speaking of his son, the Messiah, says, Yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. Listen to what God says to him. I will declare and decree the Lord has said to me, You are my son today, I have begotten you. Ask of me. Ask of me. What do you think he's going to give them? What do you think he's going to ask for? What do you think he's waiting for? He says, Ask of me and I'll give you the nations for your inheritance and the ends of the earth for your possession. So that then, I'm going back to Galatians now. So that them, those that are of faith are blessed with believing Abraham. Do I need to get two more in? I'm going to jump down to, to 3.12. The law is not of faith, but the man who does them shall live by them. In other words, if you're going to live by the law, you better not fail. But is that possible? Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is everyone who hangs on a tree. And the believing Abraham might come upon all the Gentiles in Christ Jesus that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Amen. Somebody say, oh my goodness. And I'm, I don't have time to go on. I got all the scripture here, but he goes on to say, that he did not say seeds, as in the offspring of Abraham, but he said seed, as in one, which is the Christ. That is the seed of promise. Listen, kids, that's all you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need a bunch of hooey. You don't need a bunch of regulations. What you need is Jesus, and he will safely bring you into the Father's hands for eternity. Okay, we got, we got a lot more to do. Look, I, I kept my promise. God bless you all.